Hey guys, Dr. Rob here, and I'm coming to you today from one of my exam rooms, and I'm here to talk to you about the female hormonal profile. Have you ever had your female hormones checked? If the answer is yes, how did they do it? Chances are it was probably through blood. That's how I was taught in school, to do it through blood. It never quite made sense to me, and one of the reasons why is when we look at that female hormonal cycle, it is indeed a 28-day cycle on average. So we have this 28-day cycle, and we're going to just draw blood, maybe bup, 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 boom, on this day here. Well, that allows us to know what's happening with the hormones here, but how about the rest of the month? We just don't know. So we're not really getting an accurate picture of what's happening with the female hormones by drawing blood just on one day of the month. So how do we do it? Well, this is what we do. We give a woman a kit to take home to her house, and she will do a saliva sample every other day throughout the course of a month. And she stores those samples in the freezer. At the end of the month, they go out to the lab. The lab analyzes them and gives us a beautiful report showing us exactly what's happening with the female hormones. And we could see where the imbalances are, where the deviations are, and we know what to do naturally then to support that normal hormonal balance. I'll give you an example. I had a patient once, and about three to eight days before she started her period, she would develop anxiety. She would get depressed. She wouldn't be able to sleep well. Um, she became to where she said, she said to me, actually, Dr. Rob, I need to keep a, a pack of tissues with me when I watch TV. And I was like, why? And she said, because the commercials make me cry. But only during those eight days. The other days, I'm okay. But those eight days, I'm just extra emotional. So when we did this analysis, when we did this analysis on her, what we found was a problem with her progesterone. Now it's interesting because progesterone during menstruation is low, and then in the middle of the month it starts to rise and it comes high, and then towards the end of the month progesterone drops and then menstruation starts here. So when a woman has her period, the progesterone's low, it comes up, middle of the month it's high, and then it starts to fall and then we get menstruation. Now, what we found was going on with her particular um, hormone with progesterone is it started off fine like this. It was, it was low during menstruation, it came up, but then right around the middle of the month, instead of staying high and continuing, this, the last like eight days it just plummeted like this. And here is where she became very symptomatic. So if we had not done this particular profile, we would have never really been able to tell where the imbalance was um, in her hormone. So in any event, that's the female hormonal profile. If you're interested in that or you have problems that you think are related to your hormone, please fill out the contact form at the bottom of the page and one of my awesome staff will get in touch with you. They'll explain more about how we can help. Or if you're really up for it, fill out the free health and weight, uh, the free online health and weight evaluation. And that really gives us a big picture as to what's happening with your body. And then one of my staff will call you. They'll explain to you what they found in the evaluation. So fill out the contact form or fill out the free online weight loss and health evaluation. And either way, if you'd like some help, we can get it to you. Um, if not, I'm happy to present this information to you as educational information. I hope you learned something today. Thanks and have a great day.